Mitch Wagner from Light Reading. We're here with David Walsh. He is the founder of Candy. So you have had quite an interesting time of it with the merger of uh, Sonos and Jinben. Can you talk a little bit about the rationale behind the merger and what you're doing with it going forward? Sure. Well, um, first, we, we just felt that uh, we'd be a better company if we were a little bigger and if we could have a larger reach, we could service our customers better, if we could have the resources really required. You know, these companies that we are dealing with, um, they require an enormous amount of attention and they're all over the world. So we think just a larger footprint, a bigger sales force, um, the ability to, to support more R&D, which is really important to these customers. And quite frankly, we wanted to live uh, deeper in the wallet of our customers. You know, we already had you know, the customers between the two companies. And uh, a lot of times those customers were on top of each other, but each, each company brought a, a, you know, some additional clients to, to them together here. So we just feel that we're going to be bigger, stronger, and it allows us to be more competitive. Okay, and so Candy was a big part of GenBand's business. What role will it play in ribbon communications going forward? Well, I, I think that uh, this is our big growth initiative for the combined company for Ribbon. And um, we're, we, we really believe that now that we have this bigger footprint and we have a bigger company, a more profitable company, that we can actually go further with Candy. We can go faster. And um, we've been convinced all along that this is our, our big play. This is, this is a game changer for us. And we're getting a lot of validation in the marketplace. So having more resource behind us, just going to make things go faster. So embedded communications and communications platforms have been a big part of both service providers and enterprises in the past and going forward. What's going on with that? Why is that the case? Well, I think people are just seeing and uh, you know everyday use of what real-time communications can do um, inside applications. They bring applications to life and uh, you're seeing it in all different types of ap applications across finance, healthcare, um, government, uh, hospitality, all of these industries are embedding real-time communications into workflows contextually. And this is allowing them to service their customers better. It's allowing them to, uh, to deal with things like uh, e-commerce and people allowing people to quickly be able to consume services, um, to be able to provide a better customer care and customer touch. So there's so much you can do when you embed communications into workflows and uh, we're just seeing it everywhere and it's just becoming obvious. You can't ignore it because you open up an app today and before you know it, people are you're clicking the call, you're, you're consuming real-time communications inside these apps or on websites. So it's just becoming more obvious. Okay, so what are, what are some of the biggest challenges that service providers are facing? Well, I think one is that, um, you know, the public network's been around for a long time. It still generates $100 billion of, of revenue in the U.S. as an example. Um, but those, those calls now, and SMS and, and video, it's all moving into applications. So unless the carriers actually move with that traffic, because you know, we saw connectivity move from fixed to mobile, now it's moving from mobile into the apps themselves. So the carriers actually have to follow the real-time communications. And if they follow the real-time communications, then as they move from you know, one transformation which was fixed to mobile. Now they'll be able to benefit and participate when it moves from mobile into the apps. So what we see is the opportunity for the carriers for this next evolution to participate. And if they don't participate, the risk is then they just become a pipe. So what are the biggest opportunities that, that the service providers have now? Well, I think they have the opportunity, you know, especially in the multinational uh, world where these large multinational customers are looking to service their customers in special ways. Real-time and embedded communications is a perfect way of doing that. There's almost no activity that can't be made better with real-time communications. So I think that there's where the carrier can actually provide business benefit. And you're seeing it in call centers, you're seeing it in, in financial trading applications, every kind of customer uh, care uh, uh, organization is looking at real-time communications and embedding in workflows. You're seeing it in all these websites that deal with e-commerce, helping people consume. So I think that carriers are going to be able to service these multinationals who have 
it's a huge appetite for real-time communications. Well, thank you very much for joining us. All right, well, thank you and enjoy the rest of the show. Okay, you too.